IBS stands for Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Uh, it is quite common uh, and seen in approximately 15 to 20 percent of our population. It typically entails uh, abdominal discomfort or abdominal pain. The pain often does fluctuate with certain stressors such as uh, emotional stress or certain types of food uh, and oftentimes the pain can actually be relieved with um, a bowel movement. Patients with IBS typically have either di diarrhea or constipation or that they can have a mixture of both where they alternate back and forth between diarrhea and constipation. Some of the other symptoms that you would see in irritable bowel would be gas, uh, bloating, some mild distension, uh, some people have uh, indigestion as well. And some of the alarm symptoms which are typically not associated with irritable bowel would be things like weight loss or bleeding with the bowel movement. And that should alert um, the patient and the physician that something else is going on. In order to evaluate irritable bowel patients, we would typically start off with some lab tests. Uh, we would probably proceed with some sort of x-rays. For those patients who have diarrhea, we would probably obtain some stool cultures to rule out infectious causes. Sometimes patients do proceed uh, to radiographic imaging like CAT scans. Uh, and finally, some people do require colonoscopy for further evaluation.